It's your boy Herm here with another new comic book day haul. January 13th, 2021. Before we get to that, if you like the video, the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ding, ding, ding that bell for notification for a future video. And let's get started this week with Marvel. Of course, I gotta start with my favorite. The Amazing Spider-Man, number 57, Nick Spencer, Nick Spencer, Mark Bagley. Well, Spider-Man's my favorite. Nick Spencer run's not my favorite, but I am digging the latest run so far. Even though it's, it has mixed, some people like it, some people don't. I do, lately. But, we're going to keep going. The King in Black, Planet of the Symbiotes. Number one, more King and Black stuff. Gwenom versus Carnage. I hope it's good. I'm a Spider Gwen fan, so I'll probably like it. I'm hearing uh, negative reviews on it. Hopefully, I like it. Next up, King and Black. Thunderbolt, number one. King and Black, The Union, number two. Uh, here, even though it doesn't say King and Black, X-Men title, supposedly, written by Al Ewan, a swords, sword number two. Uh, yeah. And keeping on with the X-Men theme. Marauders, number 17. This has been one of my favorite runs for the X-Men. Jerry Dugan writing it. And of course, Chris Claremont, Anniversary Special, number one. It's got various artists in it. It's right in it. So, uh, I like the old Chris Claremont X-Men since I was a kid. So, I probably enjoy that. And next up, the Immortal Hulk, number 42. Oh, you in goodness right here. Alex Lynn Art. Alex Ross with the art on the cover. One of my favorite runs. I mean, I love this run. I hope he, rumor is it, he's ended in a 50. I hope it's not true, but I think it probably is. Um, Keeping up, oh, last but not least, Star Wars, Darth Vader, number nine, Greg Pack, doing his thing in this one. Uh, my favorite Star Wars out of all the series. My favorite issue right here, my favorite um title. And... One of my favorite ongoing titles. But that's it this week for Marvel. We're going to DC next. Up for DC. Finally got my A cover. Harley Quinn. Future State Harley Quinn number one. Got the A cover. I really wanted the A cover. I had the B cover from last week. So I figured my LCS had it. I really like, I like having the A cover. And I really like the issue. I think this was my favorite one for last week. Or from all the Future State stuff. Um, and then uh, next up for Future State. Future State Dark, De Dark Detective number one. Mariko Tamaki. I hear this one's pretty good. So I can't wait to dig into that one. Keeping on with the Batman theme. Future State Robin Eternals. Pretty interesting to see. Who the Robin is and all that. I don't know who the Robin is. I don't know if it shows it in this one, but pretty excited to see. Up for that. Future State. Kara Zorel. Superwoman. Number one. Huge fan of Supergirl. So now she's Superwoman. A lot of people say it's about time. Can't wait to dig into that one. She's right there. Next up, Future State, 
Superman and Wonder Woman. Or oh, actually Superman Wonder Woman. I don't think it has an and. Does it? Nah. Uh, then, for future state, Justice League. The one, Joshua Williamson is in this. He's one of my favorite writers. Flash Run was awesome. Future State Green Lantern. Last but not least, Future State Green Lantern number one. I don't know a whole lot about Green Lantern. Oh, very little bit. I didn't read them much as a kid. But I hope I like it. And last but not least, for DC, American Vampire 1976, number four. Scott Snyder goodness right here. And that's it for DC. We're going to Indies next. First up, from the Indies, from Image. Ha ha! Number one. Or is it ha ha? Or ha <laughs> ha? I don't know. It could be any of one of those, right? It's a clown, so it's probably like or something like that, but haha, ha, number one. A lot of people's favorite already. People saying it's great. So I can't wait to dig into this one. See how good it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Image. They've been doing good stuff too. Keeping up with the image. Homesick Pilots, number two. Number one. I really enjoy number one, so I'll probably enjoy that one too. Pretty good. Keeping up with image. Kick-Ass versus Hit Girl, number three. I'm hoping this one they finally square off. They haven't done it yet. Last week, last week, the last issue it showed her at the end. So maybe they're going to finally get on down, you know, hopefully. And uh, that's for Image, be Savage Dragon, number 256, Eric Larson. Goodness, right here, art, cover, writer. Been doing it for many, many years, over a decade. I'm enjoying it. And uh, last but not, well, actually not last. This is uh, Boom Studios, my favorite publisher still. Seven Secrets, number six. My favorite indie publisher. One of my favorite ongoing, I think it's ongoing. I'm thinking that. And uh, moving on to Dark Horse, Stranger Things, Science Camp, Science Camp number four. AWA Upshot. This is number two of five mini series going on. Of course, it's erotic number two. I didn't even say what it was. I just said AWA Upshot. <laughs> so Erratic number two. And this one, uh, Brooklyn Gladiators from Heavy Metal. Brooklyn Gladiators number three. Of course, I'm from Brooklyn. I had to get Brooklyn Gladiators. I enjoyed the first two issues. So can't wait to dig into that one too. Um, the last two is from Vault Comics. The Devil's Red Bride, number four. And last but not least, Bleed Them Dry, number six. So that's it for this week. Hope everybody enjoyed my haul. And until next time, peace out.